The Prime Minister has hardly thrown his door open to other EU leaders. The Estonian Prime Minister, the first and only one so far to visit. Momentary indecision over whether they should be in or out. But no such change of tack in the government's hardline approach to Brussels. Why aren't you negotiating in Brussels, Prime Minister? He's not, and with no high-level talks on the horizon, despite a no-deal exit looming, the government is saying that's all the EU's fault. We stand ready to engage with the European Union, to negotiate in good faith, to make sure that we can have a friendly relationship in the future, and we will put all our energy into making sure that we can secure that good deal. But at the moment, it's the EU that seems to be saying they're not interested. They are simply saying, no, we don't want to talk. Well, I think that's wrong and sad. Reports out of Brussels suggest the EU now believes the UK doesn't intend to negotiate. Because of the government's insistence, the existing agreement must be torn up. The European Union position remains unchanged. We have agreed the withdrawal agreement with the UK uh, government. The deal we have achieved is the best possible deal. Um, and we're always willing to add language to the political declaration, but we will not reopen the withdrawal agreement. The Irish Prime Minister visiting Northern Ireland today had this warning for those hoping no deal might just be an end to it all. This doesn't end on October 31st. Uh, if there is a deal, we're going to enter into several years of negotiations on a new free trade agreement with the UK and a new economic and security partnership. Uh, if there is no deal, uh, then at a certain point we will have to begin negotiations again and the first items on the agenda will be citizens' rights, the financial settlement uh, and the solution to the Irish border. If European leaders are being ignored, not so potential alternative partners, the foreign secretaries in Canada attempting to lay the foundations for new trade. We do want to grasp those global opportunities and we want to expand our horizons and raise our level of ambitions in the world. And as part of that, we want to take our friendship with Canada and the Canadian people to the next level on trade, on security cooperation, on human rights. The Cabinet No Deal Planning Committee met here again this afternoon. No one can doubt this government's determination to prepare for No Deal. What is extraordinary is with 86 days till we're due to leave, negotiations over any possible deal have stalled before they've even begun. Both the EU and the Irish government have stressed they are still open to talks. But aside from the Estonian Prime Minister, and even he was only here on holiday, Boris Johnson is clearly in no hurry to meet them. Romilly Weeks, News at 10.